below. Oh God. I need to get a tripod. Hello everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today, we're filming a vlog. We just got done helping my dad uh, move some trailers around. We just took his to the storage unit and we had to move mine because it was parked in front of his. So then we had to move mine back. Um, yeah, so that's that. And now I'm on my way to the store. Camera fixed, maybe. But I'm on my way to the store to get some fabric glue or something to try and glue my patches onto my coat. Um, I've tried several different kinds of glue and none of them seem to be working, which is annoying. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm up to today. I also might stop by my friend's house because she's very hungover and bring her some Gatorade or something, you know, being a good, good friend. <clears throat> my dad and I really like these like fizzy waters, the LaCroix, and I drink them like while I'm driving <laughs> sometimes. And I'm always worried that I'm gonna get pulled over because it looks like I'm drinking like beer or something. <laughs> Does anybody else drink these? Write me a comment. What's your favorite LaCroix fa flavor? Uh, I like the limoncello ones. My dad doesn't like the limoncello ones though. So I'm back in the car from the store. I'll do a haul. Bought a tripod, thank God. A little like ring light that clips onto my phone so my lighting will be better too. I'm like a real YouTuber now. <laughs> my God, I hate that I just said that. I didn't get very many things. I got some fabric fusion and then I got some hot glue sticks for my patches uh, I do need to go I do need to go to the store again today because I was supposed to pick up my dad some beer and I forgot my ID so I couldn't buy any beer I hate parking lots especially since I drive a truck I hate them even more I'm trying to think of a good story to tell uh, I went to a concert last night I went and saw Banshee Tree. They're based out of Denver. Uh, and they were awesome. There weren't very many people there. I think there were like, uh, honestly, probably like 40 people there. They had a fiddle player, and if anybody knows me who's watching, y'all know how I feel about fiddle players. I want one for my graduation, but my mom said no. So, also, I don't even know where I would get a fiddle player. I don't know how to contract contact them just put an ad out on Facebook and be like hey if you play the fiddle call me but it was like at the Civic Center here in town so like it's actually an old high school so we went and screwed around in the hallways because it wasn't just like it wasn't really like a concert venue concert venue so like there wasn't really any security or people monitoring us being hooligans so it was really fun and then we went out to uh the bars afterwards and had a good time yeah uh one of the band who opened they're called Skirtney Skirtney I don't know how to say it. I'll put it on the screen right here this is the name of the band that opened for Banshee Tree that we went out to the bars with uh, they were really good too. I was very impressed. I like, it was like a $12 concert ticket and super last minute, but it turned out to be super fun. I've been debating if I should get a TikTok because I don't know. Part of me thinks TikTok is kind of evil because it just tracks you all the time and like the algorithm is super terrible and stuff, but also I don't know, I, I'm kind of, part of me wants to be like a YouTuber and like <laughs> an influencer. Oh my God, I hate that word. It's a real job, mom. It's a real job, I swear. Uh, 
having a TikTok could be necessary for that if I'm gonna seriously pursue YouTube slash TikTok slash influencing. <laughs> Why do they call it like being an influencer? Like, are you are you influencing the public? Like, is it like a are you influencing people to buy products that you're promoting? Is that what it's about? I don't know. I don't really understand the whole concept. I mean, I guess I understand. It just needs a little uh, interesting. It's a little, a little odd. I feel like it's kind of a new agey, futuristic, dystopian thing that we have. And, uh, participating in it. So I have mixed feelings about it sometimes. But, however, I do think that being a content creator, maybe that's a better word than influencer, is content creator. I like that. I'm gonna keep that. New word. I'm not influencing, I'm content creating. Having the freedom to work on my own schedule and basically just create content to put out and be able to make money off of that, whether it's through sponsorships or whatever. Like, that's a pretty, pretty big deal to me because you have so much freedom with what you do beyond that. You kind of just have to document what you're doing but anyways, thanks for coming to the store with me. See, what they don't show you is the big ass warehouse that is next to this beautiful river. Oh, I see a dog tail. Can you spot the dog tail in the grass? <laughs> oh my goodness, hi! What's happening? <laughs> The grass is so fun! Look how fun it is! Oh my god! You are so cute, Tippy. Look at how she jumps! Oh my god, it's so cute. Please, dear god, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Jesse, don't do that! Don't do that! <laughs> Oh my god. <gasps> <gasps> what are you doing? She's going to get me. She knows she's going to get me too. Oh, she's going to get me. Ah, it's a girl! It's got me! 
ไงเดี๋ยวเราไปดูหนังสือกันต่อไปนะครับ